what are the types of houses, villas, and pools that are currently offered for construction to build in Playa Lagarto Eco Development in Costa Rica? Hello, friends. Yossi Kaplan here, your friendly Toronto and Costa Rica realtor. And in this webinar, I'm going to review the house, villa, and pool catalogs you can get, you can buy, and build in Playa Lagarto Eco Development. Now, for those who haven't attended the first webinar, you can go watch it. But I'll give you a very quick review of Playa Lagarto in Costa Rica. So here we go. Um, this is Costa Rica. We're in between the two Americas, the two continents. And the property we're looking at called Playa Lagarto Eco Development, it's over a thousand acres. Okay. Um, it's free and clear ownership. It's private and gated community. It's above the Pacific. It's on the Pacific side, west of Liberia. It's about an hour and a half from the airport. I'll review all this in the first presentation I gave, so you can go back and look at that webinar. And it's a community lifestyle. People come here from all over the world, but mostly from Canada and the U.S. Uh, to live, build a home, and they either stay there for a few months of the year, usually in winters, or stay there year-round. Or some people buy the land and put a villa or a home or a house for investment purposes. This is all available for you. Uh, there's some move-in villas ready from the 145s, 150s. Uh, there's some ocean view lots available. Now, the prices here are from prices and availability pending, okay? But this is the view from the property down towards the ocean. The ocean is about a kilometer from the property, so you can just walk down to the beach, okay? This is a sample home here that you can see. Let me zoom out a little bit. Here's a sample home. Uh, that you can build and i'll review these homes in a second and these homes you can build on various lots are still available for sale contact me the first video will show you these lots okay um, there's a cute restaurant bar and community spaces on site uh, there's lots of trails and beautiful trees uh, there's kind of meditation place you can go and chill out there you can work out outdoors if you like uh, there's a lot of nice neighbors some of these villas people live, some of those are Airbnb, and there's a lot of clusters. There's over 500 homes that we built in this community. Okay, the beach is phenomenal. I've been there. There's a little restaurant and a surf shack at the bottom of the beach, and the sunsets are unbelievable. Okay, so I'm going to start reviewing um, the home catalog here. Okay, so I'm going to start with the home catalog uh, that is supplied to you by Playa Lagardo. Any questions about these homes? Uh, just let me know. Simply contact me via email or call me and I'll answer your questions. Okay, the first turnkey house collection, the first house that is offered for you here is called the Simple Villa. It's a small villa. Okay, it starts at 686 square feet from about 82,000 US dollars. This is for the villa itself. Obviously, anything outside the villa is not included. And those villas are basically built for you. But the appliances, the furniture, the window coverings, the life fixtures, those you have to bring uh, with you, just like when you build a house in Canada, okay? And if you want to build a pool, we'll go to the, uh, I'll review the pool catalog in this video, so stay with me at the end. Uh, but you can build a pool, you can do um, uh, uh, scaping, landscaping, you can do a little farm, grow stuff, anything you want is okay. The two-bedroom nano of four square feet start about 108, 110,000. US dollars and the permits, I think they're a little up from then. So I would uh, save about $5,000 for the permits. Construction of permit fee, I believe it's $2,500 now, and the service uh, is $2,350 last time I looked. Okay. And you can see those are, those are well designed villas. I'm not going to go into details, but uh, contact me and I'll email you this entire catalog. Uh, here is the beach hut. It's really, really cute. It's really nice and clean looking. It's very, very affordable and it's efficient especially if you want to stay there a few months of the year and then rent it because you don't have to spend so much money and just get that thing going and then get your tenants going. And I remind you that the night rates in Costa Rica are high and closer you get to Tamarindo are very high, closer to the Pacific where we are, closer to Tamarindo are high. So that's very good for the investors. So the beach hut is a two-bedroom, 829 square feet from, from 100,000 US dollars, okay? So compare that to a Toronto condo, and you get the idea. And again, the pool, landscaping, that'll be extra. And I believe that those services at the bottom will be slightly more by now. 
Um, this is called the Venado. The Venado is a very nice unit, 915 square feet from about 110,000 US dollars. Some plants. Uh, this is the natural sense. It's really beautiful. I believe this is the first or one of the first models ever built in Tyler It's 1,266 square feet and it starts at about 150, give or take, thousand US dollars. And that's a two bedroom. That's a already larger. It's got a rooftop, as you can see. It's got kind of a double story on one side, so it's very nice. Natural sense. This is the Ocean Pacifico. This is a classic. Uh, it's 1,399 square feet, so we'll, we'll call it 1,400 square feet. Starts from 167,000 USD plus permits, pool, and everything. So, you know, I would I would probably add another 30 to 50,000 for my pool landscape and permits just just to know I'm safe there. But we'll give you exact numbers, and we'll we'll help you match the house to the lot because you know. This is not flat land, so each lot may have certain houses that may be better for that lot than others, and we'll be able to help you make that decision. This is a three-bedroom, two-bathroom, living dining room, kitchen, terrace, and laundry room, all in the Ocean Pacifico, okay? Uh, this is the Liberty. It's kind of a modern style with a large overhang. This is a three-bedroom, 1391, so just under 1,400 square feet. So more or less similar size, but you can see more modern, more a little daring. Of course, if you wanted to do something double the size, you could. Some people at Playa Lagarda built around 5,000 square foot homes, and they're absolutely gorgeous. Uh, this is the Marbella or the Marbella. Two-bedroom, 1475 square feet for 177 USD. Okay, another um, traditional with modern almost like an A-frame cottage with lots of glass. Um, in this example, it's shaded, so it's nice because the Costa Rica gets hot, lots of sun, so you gotta think which way your house is pointing and sun directions and all that stuff. And, and that's that's easy to do. Okay. Uh, this is the Tamarindo model, so it's more like a traditional uh, Latin, Latin home of the area. Larger two, 2185 square feet from 262. And this is just one style, but you can obviously get any style you want here. Uh, but this is this is the catalog. You can literally order off the plans here, save you a lot of headaches. Uh, two, uh, two car garage, lots of space here. Great long term investment, in my opinion. Here's the Fortuna. Fortuna is absolutely gorgeous, it's, it's, it's regal. That's a three bedroom, almost 2,400 square feet, around 284,000 USD, very, very nice, okay? Three bedroom, two bathroom, living, dining, kitchen, terrace. As you can see all these different styles and designs and feel free to jog the video back and to pause it on those you wanna see again. Okay, this is it. So any of these homes, if you like them or you want more information, just contact me, you'll see Kaplan, I'll give you the information. Now I'm going to show you um, a few other designs, which are by a different uh, developer builder. And you can get these designs also in the Playa Lagarto, okay? And this one is called the Casa Conchal. I'll go over uh, five of those. The Conchal, and these are very modern style, if you like this style. Uh, it's 11, 20, 11, sorry, 1281 square feet, 1,281 square feet, which is about 119 square meter of openness towards itself, a living room next to the kitchen. So these are really well thought after. And they've got kind of an enclave, so it's very nice, rich, private feel where you can live there and just basically do your thing. And there's a second level, 60 square meters, 646 square feet, which has the master bedroom on the, at the top. So you can see here some of these designs and other views of the Casa Conchal. Okay, very, very, very nice. This is by Rojas Consulting, Fernando Rojas. I spoke with him and I'll be happy to help you select the right home, whether it's from the first developer, builder, or the second, it's all good. And there are more, there will be more as well. And whoever wants to build their own home, you can do that too. This offers you very quick pathway to a quality home 
with a reputable area developer builder and the prices are more or less the same across the board okay this is really nice and i also like the quality of the renderings here very very nice this is the casa con chao okay now i'm going to show you another one and this is called the casa is islita islita okay let's scroll here this is a one level 100 uh, square meter okay so that's that'll be about uh almost 100 uh, 1100 square feet give or take okay you see it's a flat home it's what we call a bungalow in canada one floor very efficient design you got a nice front room facing the pool and the bedrooms are at the back nicely sorted nicely tucked in very nice little room this will make an amazing rental in my opinion too because those are easy very easy to rent and uh, i believe that in lagarto you can do two uh structures so you can also consider doing two homes you can do like a large home for the family and a small airbnb or you can do two airbnbs this one is very cute this casita and and it's not that small it's, it's just under 1100 square feet and it's open to a little pool lots of outdoor space and here's the offer of a modern clean living space right above the ocean in costa rica the next one we're going to look at is called the pinilla the pinilla okay the pinilla also this is from the modern collection from rojas homes it's a larger unit it's 2315 square feet 215 square meters okay and these designs again they offer you this 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 inner yard there's a long pool here large pool there's a carport which is a sizable so it's really done like if you came from uh, california from the states or if you came from uh, perhaps a suburb in canada you'd be used to something like this this is really nice you can see the car comes in and the house kind of self-protected and, and and wraps around the pool so the rooms have view of the pool you can keep an eye on who's in the pool maybe you have children there all that stuff and the outside faces the outside is you can't really see much which is nice gives a lot of privacy here okay and and here's your privacy here's a living space which is half and half between indoor and outdoor so if it's raining or you need ac you can walk in and if it's sunny and you want to be by the pool or in the morning have your morning coffee there you go and just step outside and again very nice clean living space very nice design okay and here's a, a modern style render uh, for this home okay this was the pinilla okay very very nice uh the next one is called the coyol let me switch here the coyol i've mentioned this in the first webinar it's a one level house it's slightly larger it's 1636 square feet which is about 154 square meters and the coyol again has this inner yard idea <clears throat> but it's larger and it wraps around the pool but also you can see the bedrooms have like a separate area so the sleeping quarters are quiet and separate here and then the main living area is up there so it's completely separate so you can have a child a baby or anyone in the bedroom resting and someone could have a party in the kitchen and it's all good it's got lots of room for that this is the front of the house again it's protected from the outside so it gives a lot of privacy which is really nice <clears throat> Beautiful entrance, kind of symmetric, with a bit of elements on the side, like the window or the door. There's some very nice little elements uh, of design being done here, and I really like the cleanliness of the design and the renderings. And when you see uh, the work by either either builder, you, you'll really be impressed, in my opinion, that they're doing really good work, that high standards of construction that we can expect, you'll find them in Costa Rica and also of woodworking woodworking okay these are renders but it can give you an idea of what this is aiming for okay very very nice the coyol the coyol absolutely perfect modern house about a kilometer or so from the ocean so very very beautiful his and hers that could be anywhere that could be the bathroom in shangri-la 
very, very nice. So the one, the left, you can see that where the living room is and the kitchen, completely separate, and the right are the bedrooms. Okay, you can see another one, the kitchen on the left, and the pool kind of hangs out, so you're like in the kitchen, like almost at the pool, kind of falling into the pool, and these are the bedrooms. A very nice idea. Obviously, you can move the pool out too if you wanted to, no big deal, but that's the idea here. Uh, this is the Ventanas. Let me switch here. The Ventanas. So the Ventanas, 2315 square feet, 215 square meters. <clears throat> Again, nice, modern, clean lines. This is more of a Bauhaus. You can see those white lines. Uh, form follows function. So there's, there's like, uh, if, if you want to think uh, Miss Van der Rohe, and all the Bauhaus architects made it all the way to Costa Rica and made their influence Costa Rica. And even a bit of a flank, Frank Lloyd Wright fall in waters with the angles and the stairs and how the stairs are moving. And they're kind of imitating the rocks, right? When you come up the path, I, I really love it. I think it's, 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 it's subtle, but if you like art and you like architecture and you like the idea here, then you'd really be impressed and uh, it, it makes me feel very good to see these beautiful designs and, and this thought of design and living all the way in Costa Rica. Okay. Form follows function. Very beautiful, useful. I really like the deck before the pool because I know in Canada we, we don't go in the water much. We like to hang up by, on the deck. And maybe if it's really hot, we'll dip in the pool. But really, we're just on deck. That's how we do it. So, uh, for this one, <clears throat> it's perfect. It's, it's one of my favorite designs right here. See? So you can have your nice little pool party. And we'll go over the pool catalog at the end. There's some pool catalogs, but this pool is from this same building. Okay? And you can make changes to these plans, but this is a really good, there's an outdoor barbecue kitchen here. But it's it's really good idea to start with these pre-made plans because it's a lot easier starting to design from scratch it also saves you a lot of time and money okay absolutely gorgeous look at this kind of a, a angle angled elevated uh ceiling with pot lights and the woodwork and the kitchen in the back just just marvelous so i, I would expect no less so if you like that style and most of Toronto condos of this size will look something like this, and even homes and townhomes. So, <clears throat> but when you come out, you step outside, you're Costa Rica, <laughs> and it's it's beautiful evening, and it's warm, and it's plentiful, and it's healthy, and it's blue zone. So, very very nice. Now, I believe that one of these, if I recall, one of these is built in on one of the sea lots at the moment. Uh, they don't take too long to build; they take less than a year to build. Uh, probably anywhere from uh, 7 to 12 months, depending on the size and complexity. But you'll be able to probably see one of these completed very, very soon within, I imagine, uh, 6 to 12 months. I think it just started. Okay, I'm going to move now to the pool catalog. This pool catalog is offered you by the Playa Lagarto developer. Okay, so these are the pools we'll go with the first homes uh, we saw. And you can choose like a simple dunk pool. You can look at something. Let me zoom out a little bit. Here's a pool with a deck. Okay, and you can see the stairs coming in. And obviously, the depth of the pool can be controlled as the size, but it gives you an idea. And you see here, uh, it's about 30,000, give or take, for this pool, okay? And that's USD. Here's another one, really nice. You can put your, your lays right in the water. Okay, this one's a little cheaper, but, you know, get, get, get the idea. 21.8 plus 2,000 plus this and that, okay? Uh, this one... Close to the 30,000. It's a lot, slightly larger angled pool, number four. Here's another variation on number four, four B. And here's another variation, but it's round, really beautiful. So you can, 
in, in your mind's eye, you can take this pool and really play with design and pool and bring them together. And I encourage you, and I'll review all the houses before I'm done, uh, but I encourage you to really <clears throat> go back and forth in this video and see which house you think would fit with the pool and with the first video to look at some lots and, and, and the property map. Okay, here's another one. It's even more expensive. It's a larger pool, um, hard angle, variation. Okay, on and on and on. Here we go. Um, <clears throat> lastly, I'll just show you a few photos. And I hope you like that. And I'm going to show you a few photos now from the area. And I'm going to go back and review those houses one more time, one after the other, just to show them to you. And then we'll be done uh, for this presentation. So this is uh, Sunset and Playa Lagarda. This by no particular order. Um, <clears throat> this is one of the villas that were built. You can see it's just finished. They just started to do the, the landscaping. And you can imagine with the years and with time, uh, there'll be sitting areas, there'll be deck, there'll be a pool. It's, it, it's still on the construction because how beautiful this is. And you can walk to the beach down the hill. And you can hear, you're not going to hear those sirens in Costa Rica. Some locals, local scene. Uh, people do a lot of healing work in Costa Rica. If you really want to improve your health, eat healthy, be in a blue zone. I believe that just, just down the road, uh, it's where the blue zone has been announced. The blue zone is an area where people live long, healthy li lives. And that's why, because it's a lot more relaxed. Uh, the food is natural, there's lots of sun, there's a lot less stress. So if you're looking for a bit easier, cheaper life with quality of life, more sun, a bit less uh, stress on the TVs and all that, there you go. And um, I remind you, we are a Canadian company. Therefore, if you're a Canadian, let me know. We have special deals for Canadians. Okay? And some views from the property. This is the area where the villas are. You can also buy these villas. As I mentioned in the first video, for about 150 up. Absolutely marvelous. The property, a thousand acres, rolling into the ocean. Some more local scene. Just a lot of fun. This is one of the uh, pools where the villa cluster is, one of the villa clusters. And that's what it looks like. Cheers. Lots of restaurants. Here's another long shot. It shows some of the villas and the clusters. Just rolling hills. There's monkeys, there's wildlife, there's everything. Someone's home here, really hidden. And that's it. So as I said, I will give you a very quick view of some of the homes we looked at. And, and that's my presentation for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Once again, I remind you that this is the full webinar for the home you can get these are ready these are ready to go homes turnkey homes you get the land you get the home there's some permitting there's some other expenses of course um, but they're not that great they're not that much compared to canada and you can just ask for this type of home and it'll be built for you on the plot of land that you selected okay so <clears throat> the beach hut The Venado, really like this little one. The natural sense. The Ocean Pacifico. This is the Liberty going modern here. This is the Marbella. Really nice. I like the sitting area. The front, that's really, really important. Front deck and sitting area between the house and the pool. It's on this other side of the pool. The Tamarindo model. It's a good look out here. If you have a good lot, you could probably get really good views from up there. Lots up. The Fortuna, which is regal, just sits there like a sphinx. Okay, and then I've shown you uh, some of the other availability. This is the Conchal. So in a yard, wraps around a pool, modern. All these homes are very, very private, you can see. 
and they keep a lot of privacy here, they maintain privacy, and then on the inside, there's a whole other world. It opens to you with a high, high modern design. Here is the Isilita. Just a little house that I showed you. Very nice. You can have a pool on the other side. Pinilla, Pinilla. Also an idea of wrapping around a pool with a deck. And the other side is the road side. This is fantastic. Here is the Coyol. The Coyol, it's a larger one, remember? There's a kitchen living in one end and the bathroom um, bedroom on the other side. So setting those apart, which is very, very important. So there's lots of large living space here. You can do whatever you want and someone can sleep in the other room. Very, very nice and smart design here. Uh, and finally, we got the Ventanas. which I remind you, I really like the architecture here. Look at that. 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 Very nice and modern. All right. And this is it, my friends. That was the complete full house, villa, and... and uh, Pool Catalog for Playa Garito Eco Development. I'm Yossi Cathal. I'm your friendly Toronto and Costa Rica realtor. Any question regarding these properties or any others, hit me up. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you very much.